today we are going to discuss about the first chapter in neat biology so that is diversity in living world and before going to discuss about the diversity in living world first of all we need to know what is mean by living world means what is the living world and we know very well the living world it comprises of means it consisting of living creatures plants and microorganisms okay the living world it consisting of living creatures plants and microorganisms and we know very well what is meant by microorganisms the organisms which we can't see with our naked eyes this type of organisms are called as microorganisms okay now it is clear to you what is the living world the living world it consisting of living creatures plants and microorganisms okay next see okay you know very well about a living creature nothing but a living world and where we can see this living world means where we can see this type of all living creatures including plants and animals also microorganisms see we we can find this all type of organisms in different kinds of habitats okay we can find all kinds of this organisms in different places nothing but different habitat situations we can see this example mountains forests oceans deserts fresh water and even marine water also okay we can see all whatever creatures we are having so we can see this all living things in different conditions see here now we know very well what is the living world where we can see these type of organisms and now how we can say it is living thing okay how we can say it is living thing if we want to say this is the living thing definitely we need to have some characteristics it need to have some characteristics so now we need to know what are the characteristics of living things okay what are the characteristics of living things we need to know now so automatically then we easily can decide is it living thing or not see first one nutrition so we know very well what is the nutrition the process of taking food is nothing but nutrition see the intake and use of nutrients if you want to get the energy definitely we need to take the food the food contain nutrients so the living things they can follow this nutrition okay this occurs in different ways in different kinds of living things we know very well the process of taking food it is a nutrition but it is different in different kinds of living things okay next is growth so in living things we can see growth okay the living things they can grow see the increase in cells number and mass through the cell division so automatically all living things they can grow and next one see sensitivity so what is meant by sensitivity the ability to detect changes in the surrounding environment so sensitivity is nothing but the ability to detect the changes in surrounding environment so what will happening in the environment that changes easily we can observe by the living things next characteristic respiration so it is a chemical reaction that happens within the cell see it is a chemical reaction that happens within the cell within the cell and we know very well what is the respiration isn't it and see within the cell to release the energy what is the end product nothing but what is the main aim of respiration energy okay through the respiration we are getting energy that energy is stored in the mitochondria we know very well this okay through the respiration we are getting energy this energy is stored in the part of mitochondria in the form of atp atp is nothing but adenosine triphosphate this atp energy is present in the mitochondria the cell if they want to do their function they need energy they will get this energy from the mitochondria that's why mitochondria is also called as power houses of the cells we know this and next reproduction we know very well what is meant by reproduction so reproduction is nothing but the ability 
the ability of giving next generation means see the ability to reproduce and pass genetic information pass genetic information on to their offspring offspring that the mother baby or kid or whatever their daughters okay ability to reproduce and pass genetic material what is our genetic material dna okay what is our genetic material dna so what is the dna deoxyribonucleic acid okay that is our genetic material and uh, our genetic material we know very well that is the double stranded one we know very well this our genetic material is nothing but our dna is a double stranded dna okay and next see consciousness so what is the consciousness the consciousness of being aware of one's surroundings actions and intentions okay so these are the some characteristics of living things okay